I just want to vent for a second. The whole Jamie Foxx thing is the shit out of me. Like, he's one of the most talented actors of all time. He's not just like fly-by-night actor that, you know, is a has-been. He's a still is. In fact, he was going to film another movie. By the way, if you've never seen the movie Ray, where he basically channels Ray Charles, and plays the piano and sings and all that, that's real talent. His health condition. Now, if something's being silenced and he can't even say what's going on, doesn't that make you question? Like, I'm not, I'm not wanting to argue with anybody because I have my own opinions about that. <laughs> but when media suppresses information, especially something like this with somebody that high profile, I just want to share with you uh, the doctor that was interviewed that knows Jamie and that's pretty much basically begging Jamie even on a public platform called Twitter to come out and just be honest. He's even saying I'll help you if you need to just be honest about what happened so that we can help protect more people from stopping to get cancer. You said in the picture you said Hoping you held strong the whole time, and you know what I'm talking about. What the hell was you talking about, Doc? Now, we had a personal conversation. I really want Jamie to come out, and, you know, I want him to tell America what happened. And, and I'm giving him an opportunity to tell the truth. Uh, it looked like Damar Hamlin did not tell the country the truth. Jamie's got an opportunity now. You know, I'm told he's been in a, in a hospital with a month with a complicated stroke. Tell you what, when I have a patient in the hospital with a stroke, they're in and out in a couple of days. If someone's in for a month, it's a serious situation. Or they go to rehab, a young man. And let me tell you, Jamie Foxx, he's younger than I am. He's fit and strong. What the f 